Red Rock Coulee is a provincial natural area in southeastern Alberta. The main feature of this natural landscape is the large reddish boulders that are scattered across the badlands and coulees. The large concretions are present in the late Cretaceous Bearpaw Formation. The formation lies close to surface under a thin layer of soil, which has been sculpted by erosion, exposing the boulders and creating areas of badlands and hoodoos. The Bearpaw Formation was deposited in the Western Interior Seaway, and it includes a variety of marine fossils. The concretions formed after the sediments had been deposited when mineral cement, primarily calcite and ironstone, precipitated around shell, bone, and other biological debris. They grew outward as circulating waters deposited more layers of cement. The cement makes the concretions resistant to erosion compared to the surrounding sediments, and the iron minerals give them their reddish color. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back to a place here in southern Alberta that it was about 15 years ago and I thought it was a pretty cool spot. The name of the place is called Red Rock Coulee. So we're gonna have a look around here. I think you guys are gonna enjoy this one. It's a really unique landscape around here. So uh, yeah, let's get going. So here it is, Red Rock Coulee. I bet you can't guess why it's called Red Rock Coulee. Coolie, bunch of red rocks. Very cool spot. So there's just a bunch of red rocks that are just laying all around the landscape. Pretty unique. I think it's one of the only places like this around that I know about. So all the ground at one point would have eroded all away and left these concretions. It's very cool. Nice and round, nice red color to them. Some of them I think measure 2.5 meters across, about 10 feet. And yeah, they're just scattered all around everywhere. There's a nice cool looking one up there. Yeah, nice interesting landscape around here. There's even some cactus around. And rattlesnakes too. So here's a nice look up here. Give you a little overview of the main area. But there's more than just what you can see here. They're scattered around quite a ways. Very cool. So here you have to be careful. There is uh, rattlesnakes in this part of Canada. Let's just watch where you step. There's even some little cactus around. Wild flowers there coming out. Yeah, look at this one. It's a pretty cool one right here. So yeah, this one's probably one of the bigger ones, I would say. This one's probably a good close to 10 feet across. Almost perfectly round too. Very cool. You don't see something like this too often. Leave a comment down below if there's anything like this where you're from or if you know of any other places that have something like this. Yeah, 
Yeah, very cool. So we'll just take a walk over here. Look up that way. You can probably see my wife. She's up there taking some photos. So I was here one other time, around 15 years ago, and decided I had to come back. Check it out again. It's one of those unique spots that I don't think you can see in too many other places in the world, probably. Yeah, there's another pretty big one. There's one just sitting right over there on that hill. Really cool landscape around here. So there's some little cactus. Haven't seen any rattlesnakes yet. Yeah, some more cactus there. Cool to see where I live in Alberta. We don't have cactus or rattlesnakes or a lot of that stuff, so. That's the thing about Alberta. There's lots of different areas you can explore. You have the mountains, you have down here, uh, the prairies, forests and lakes and badlands. You have different animals and different species of plants and and all those different areas. So yeah, we decided to head south today from where we live just to uh, get away and experience some different things. I haven't been down this far south in a while, so And I knew there was a few cool places down here to check out. There's a higher concentration of them here. Yeah, what a cool area. some over here that look like they've split apart. And all over there, there's lots of them everywhere. Wow, that wind won't let up. <laughs> There's another nice one. It's a pretty big one. It's probably close to 10 feet across. Go up here on this little hill and have a quick look. Wow, is it windy. I hope you guys can hear me okay. But we're gonna leave here in a few minutes. I just wanted to walk around with you guys and show you a little bit of the area. There's a lot more to the area than what I've shown you here, but I'll stick around and take a few more photos and some video clips, and I'll be sure to include all of that. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys out there on the next adventure. Thanks a lot.